Now, everyone loves a pasty. It's the perfect takeaway seaside treat. I might get a bit in trouble with Cornwall here because I'm going to be replacing the beef with some smoked haddock. Sorry, Cornwall. First things first, the pastry. I'm using strong bread flour and a pinch of salt, butter and lard for added richness, and cold water to bring it all together. Pastry done. This just needs to chill for a while while I get on with the filling. I've already prepared the traditional Swede potato and onion mix, <laughs> but this is as close to the original recipe as I'm gonna get. Rock hard. As I'm swapping out the beef in this posh pasty for one of my favorites, smoked haddock. And this is what makes this extraordinary. Now for me, smoked haddock is an incredible fish. Just cut it into cubes an inch or two thick so it stays nice and firm when cooked. Throw it in with the veggies and add some chopped parsley, a good pinch of sea salt, and sticking with tradition this time, plenty of cracked black pepper. I'm fairly certain that there might be a few people in Cornwall a little unhappy at my pasty recipe here. And if I've offended anyone in Cornwall, I am really sorry. But if you try it, you might forgive me. Now for the business end, the pasty making. The dough's been chilling in the fridge and is ready to roll. I should get four pasties from this mix. Not little pasties, proper size West Country pasties. Then roll each quarter into a circle, ready for filling. OK, the fun bit. Get yourself a big spoon. Be generous with this mix. Big chunks of smoked haddock, potato and the swede. And when you've piled on as much as you can, simply seal the edges together with egg wash. Don't let any escape. If it does, catch it and stick it back in. Then crimp the edges together, brush on a load of egg wash, and sprinkle it with sea salt. These are actually probably the ultimate takeaway. You get them stuck in the oven, baked, and you can carry them around like a, like a little clutch bag. This one here, I can tell, it's got just a little bit more mixing. And has my name written all over it. T, Tom's pasty. As for the rest of them, I've spied a group of burly builders working across the street. And I bet they wouldn't say no to a smoked haddock pasty or throw away its golden crust. They've worked proper nice. Nice firm crust in that glaze. It's given it a real good finish. The one thing that I am disappointed about is that this pasty looks better than the one I put the tea on, but it's too late to swap them over. 